All right, Ultra Kill multiplayer mod, also known as Jacket. Here's a simple guide on how to set it up. First thing you're gonna want to do is, you see this? Put it right there. That's that'll take you straight to the Steam Deck console. How do we get there? Just enter, open Steam. Now you're in the console. From there, we're going to copy and paste this to download Deep. But this is going to download a prior build of Ultra Kill. For the specifics of this video and this mod, this is what you need to download for build 15D of Ultra Kill. Obviously, you need your own Ultra Kill build for this. You can't just crack it, all right? That's not how this works. So, you know, unless you have the, uh, you know, your version of Ultra Kill, you're good. Now press enter. It's going to start downloading. I already have it. I, I've had it for a long time, for a long time, so five days. I've already had it. So, it'll take a while for you to download. So, in the meantime, you can go ahead and download Weapon X. You can get whichever you need. I'm not going to download it because I kind of already did. And then we're going to go to the Thunder Store and download Jacket. It's spelled like this, J-A-K-E-T. You're going to need a manual download of this because right now, the Ultra Kill revamp update has broken the mod, meaning that if you try to use the Thunder Store Manager or R2 Mod Man in order to, you know, easily download this into your current build of Ultra Kill, it's not going to work with Ultra Revamp, and they're still working on the update, so we need a manual of the download. By the time you finish this, it's it still might be downloading the the prior build of Ultra Kill, but if it is by that point, then here's what you need to do. I'm going to go to Steam Apps. Yeah, it's going to be, it's most likely going to be in your C drive, the location of this Ultra Kill version. Obviously, in case you forgot, that's this PC, Windows, Program Files, then Steam, Steam Apps. Now, Usually, when you right-click on a Steam game and go to Browse Local Files, you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. Not in this case. We're going to go to Content. Then we're going to go here, here, and just like that, you found your prior build of Ultra Kill. From there, it's just a simple matter of grabbing what you downloaded and drag and dropping it. We're going to start with Beppin X. That's the first thing you should do. You're going to grab all of this, and you're going to drag and drop it over here. When you do that, when you do that, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look exactly like how you extracted it, which in this case, it's just going to have the core folder. So how do you get all of these? Uh, it's simple. You got to run the game, you got to boot it up, and it'll generate those files for you. Once that happens and you have all of this, then we can get to the next part. You're going to go to plugins, you're going to make a new folder, you're going to call it whatever you want really but I just call the jacket the name of the mod just like this and then what we're gonna do is gonna grab this and then we're gonna drag drag and drop all of this in here and it'll look just like this on the inside cool now once you drag and drop all that then congratulations you have the mod so Obviously, moment of truth, we go in, boot the game, and check it to see if it works. Obviously, I already have it downloaded, so, yeah. But this is for your convenience, obviously. I say obviously too much. I say obviously way more than I say, uh. <laughs> obviously, it has become my literally. Anyways, wait for the game to boot up. To know if you downloaded it, right? You're going to have, if you see this, you got it right. Congratulations. Now, if you want to know how to use it in game? Then simple. Uh, F11 will launch the interactive guide, which means that you know it's your little tutorial. It's your, it's your little tutorial. F3 additional settings, and then obviously, most importantly, the lobby button. You just gotta press create a lobby, just click clear in a lobby. It's going to be private by default with PvP on. You can turn it off right here. Mods, there's a very limited amount of mods. It's compatible with Jacket. I'm not sure about them. And then once you create the lobby, if it's private, then you're gonna copy your lobby code, put it in your it's gonna put it obviously in the clipboard, and then just send it to whoever you want to join your lobby. 
they, once they have to copy that and then click on join by code and all they need is to just have the lobby code on their clipboard, they don't need to enter it anywhere, just join by code and they'll be in your lobby. Or if it's public, then you know you're just gonna go in the public lobby browser and boom. And honestly, that's pretty much it. Like that's how you set it up. It's very straightforward. A little bit the only time consuming part of it is downloading your prior build of Ultra Kill. I ended up making that a lot easier just because a lot of people have already been through this and just kind of been like, oh, I don't know how to do this. So here's a very simple, straightforward guide that'll kind of hold you over until they release the compatible with the Ultra Kill revamp update version of the mod. But until then, yeah, our only choice is to play the mod on 15D. So yeah, this is it. Enjoy.